What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to a video I probably should have made earlier uh, on Compound, which I actually have covered quite a bit over the last, um, I would say, over the last two or three weeks or so, uh, basically since we've been bullish like this. Um, so yeah, but I wanted to make an update on that uh, Compound right now in terms of market structure. Looks beautiful, uh, which you can al already see on the chart a little bit, but uh, we'll still dive into that like it's it's the prime example of Elliott Wave Theory. Um, so yeah, we'll talk about that in general. I'll tell you, I'll tell you my thoughts on what's happening. Also fundamentally, uh, fundamentally a little bit, because I do think we have to do that. Uh, there are some, uh, so, some hard truths out there, which we do need to talk about. Um, but yeah, so we'll just do a full update on Compound. I'll tell you what to expect. I'll tell you what I expect at least. And um, yeah, that's what we'll do. So let's get right into it. Before we dive into that, though, if you want to receive daily trading signals from me, uh, check out the links down in the description or the pinned comments, and there you will find instructions on how to join, as you can also see from the top right there. Um, but all right, so now on to Compound. The first thing we have to start with, and um, you might not like what I'm going to say, um, but if you, if, if you disagree, we can always discuss that in the comments, right? I mean, I'm, I'm always open for, for discussion, but right now... I think Compound, and I don't think this is a hot take, I think Compound is pretty manipulated. If you take a look at the volume, 244 million, you think, well, that's great. But the volume we've seen when this momentum started is not normal. Like this this whole move also started with a, with a cash injection of about $16 million in a matter of like half an hour or 15 minutes. So it already started off pretty shady. Um, but ever since, I mean, the, the volume has been so high. If you take a look at take a look at where the volume is coming from, it's coming from some shady sources right here, and we're actually missing some volume as well. Like we, we don't know where some of the volume is coming from. Perhaps on, on Coin Gecko we can check that out. But apart from that, there's also fundamentally no reason why we would be this bullish. There's reason why we would be bullish. There is, but rallying 188 percent in a matter of um, in a matter of three weeks. There's no reason to do that, all right? So I think it's manipulated, and I think at some point of time, this is actually going to fall very, very hard. So I do want to warn you for that. Um, but right now, I mean, if we take a look at the, the, the market structure, it, it absolutely looks great, and it still looks bullish, I would say. Perhaps not right now, but overall, I do think so. Like, if you take a look at this, we had this initial uh, Elliott wave, uh, impulse waves right here, with, the, with a nice third wave, and then a, a big fifth wave quick little ABC correction. And then again, what we are in the middle of right now is again, five impulse waves, where arguably we are uh, either in the middle of wave five or at the end. Uh, we hit this resistance level around to $85. I think there's still like a possibility to get up to $90. There's, there's my main price target. Um, but it does look like from this level between 85, so either we already hit it, or $90, so that will still get a little bit of an impulse up. It does look like, at least on the short term, we'll get an ABC correction again. So that would be some sort of a uh, drop down to probably like $74. And if we, I mean, if, if, if we check out the, the, the last correction we had, that was actually about um, a, a little bit, little bit less than 50% down from the initial move. Um, so if we actually consider that as well with these moves, then you would say that we're going to drop down to $70 in an ABC correction. And I think that's pretty, uh, pretty true. So we either uh, spike up. It looks like this is the end of the fifth wave, to be honest. So what I expect now is uh, somewhat of an ABC correction right here, down to probably like 75, 74, find some support, then down to $70. And from there, we'll see whether we can actually start a, a new impulse wave. So probably we will be able to do that if from $70, we can actually break above... Um, break above like 75 again, but that's a bit for the future as well. I mean, it's uh, it's it's too early to talk about that now, I would say. And like I said, there's also a chance that if we drop down below $70, for example, that that uh, anticipated bearish momentum is coming, um, which I do expect in the next uh, in, in the next month or so. For now, like I said, we are still very, very bullish, um, but I do expect it to turn bearish at some point. So that's my take on Compound. If you do have any questions, let me know down in the comments. But for now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.